Tonight, people living in Trinidad are responding to yet another earthquake hitting the area. This one marking nearly a four on the Richter scale. KRDO News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live in our studio after talking with a seismologist about why this area keeps getting hit. Annabelle. Spencer Ann Sheehan, a seismologist and professor of geological sciences at CU Boulder, says scholars believe these earthquakes are tied to oil and gas production, saying Colorado is famous in her field for earthquakes caused by humans. Earthquakes, the biggest earthquake in the last 30 days was the magnitude 4.3. In Raton. On March 9th, Los Animas County was hit by a 4.3 magnitude earthquake. Ten days later, on Sunday morning at around 5, another hitting 3.8 on the Richter scale. The fan in my room was shaking and I could hear the house popping and cracking. David Cole is feeling it all as the earthquake created cracks in the walls of his Trinidad home and caused quite the scare. You could feel it from the south end of the house go to the north. And it was, a, it was a pretty violent shake. The earthquakes are leaving Cole wondering what happens next. Can they get bigger? I don't know. But that's something I think that sh should be shared. Seismologist Ann Sheehan's expertise is in trying to answer questions just like that. She believes many of Trinidad's earthquakes have a root cause. Trinidad is on the eastern edge of the Raton Basin. And... It's a place that has a lot of oil and gas production. Sheehan says that the process of pulling oil and gas out of the ground creates wastewater filled with pollutants. The way that is typically disposed of is, is injecting it back into the ground. But the injections of wastewater are causing movement deep underground. That can essentially lubricate the faults and it's very common to get earthquakes related to wastewater disposal. This map showing the trends in action. The, the white triangles or diamonds with the numbers are the wastewater disposal wells. And the color dots show where earthquakes hit the Raton Basin near Trinidad. Sheehan says the community should prepare for more seismic activity, but she doesn't believe Trinidad will see larger earthquakes than they have seen in the past. Reporting live in our studio, Annabelle Childers, KRDO News Channel 13.